Okay, no, we're not getting anything with these two ladies, unfortunate. Okay, yeah, well, what's the next one? Should be... Here we go! A freaking Shadow Puppet Show! Awesome! Awesome, this guy's good! That's, I mean, that's an obvious demon right there, right? Is that, is that a gun that that kid has? I'm gonna pretend that that's just a toy gun, okay? Because otherwise I'm gonna be like, Ugh. So yeah, um, it's the same problem with a lot of people have with Japanese tracks, since you don't speak the language, you don't know how good the performance is. You know, that's what some people, that's what some fans of anime dubbing say often. What is that creature? That was weird. Anyway, um, it's the same with the Russian. I mean, I don't really know if, the, if they're, you know, giving a good performance. I heard the Spanish in Resident Evil 4 is actually really terrible. But at least to me it sounds good, so in my case I'd rather listen to, um, I'd listen to this, um, this uh, Russian track here. I mean, who knows? They might be overacting and saying really weird phrases, but uh, to me, it's, it's, it's just fine. The performance being given here to my ears. I know. It's, um, I suppose maybe if I spoke Russian, I would prefer the actual English one, because there's some talented voice actors in this game. And they, you know, Steve Bloom is back. Not as Hunter before you get excited, but he is in this game. Um, what is this one? Loch Ness Monster, maybe? I'm going to go with Loch Ness Monster. One. Now, um, it's the same with the Metro, Metro, it's the same with the Tales of Symphonia, the other game I'm recording. You know, I chose to have it in Japanese instead of the English stuff. And who knows, the Japanese might be really terrible in that. I mean, a lot of people say that... Um, well, I don't understand the argument. See, what is this creature now? Sure. See, a lot of people say about Japanese dubs is like, once you speak Japanese, you realize they speak really bad Japanese, like they don't... They use phrases you'd never use in regular Japanese, and... Well, I'm just thinking... You don't use the sort of language you use in fiction anyway, I mean... People act differently, regardless of language in, in like fiction, more more acted out. Like real life people don't act like active people. You know, we first of all, there's no flubbing of lines like what I do all the damn time. And so I don't really understand that argument against original Japanese tracks is that, you know, they speak less proper Japanese, like, well, they're acting as characters, and, yeah, I mean, it's more about the quality of performance seems to be, be, be more important than the, um, lexicon. Oh, oh, that's a dog, I know! Oh my god, this moral point is taking forever, I can't believe it! God damn it, are you done with your shadow show already? I've talked so much about language tracks here and whatnot. You're supposed to get a moral point from watching this guy do his little act here. Ah, oh, freaking finally. Alright then. Well, alright, that's good show, Misha. See you. No, this jongleur does not give any moral points, so don't worry about it. We're just gonna go this away. There should be two running kids somewhere, we'll get some more points from them, but let's not worry about that for now, we got plenty of more points. So, uh, instead we should visit here at the store, I think. Nope, no stuff I'm interested in, but uh... So, here we go, we got, we got that many millionaires? I didn't even realize we were stockpiling that many, oh my god. Um, <laughs> oh, it's ten per shot. Should buy up a. Uh, I don't know how many. Uh, that's a good fifty. I'll save themselves some money. Steel balls for those weird pneumatic weapons again. Maybe some pistol rounds. Oh, that's a uh, tapped out. Oh, no, 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 Alright, we're tapped out for that, but we still got 250, that's really good. 
Oh, I see. It says down there how much it costs to buy, but it doesn't say how many you get per purchase. I don't word. I can sell off these uh, steel balls, but I'm not going to those. Yeah. Alright, well, what do you got for other stuff? Oh, we got grenades, did we? How much does this cost? Five, so... There we go. In this game, it's so much easier to find um, those uh, gas mask filters, so I'm not wasting all my money on gas mask filters this time. I might as well stock up on equipment. What do we have here, buddy? Hey. Now, uh, let's see now. Uh, no. Trade in for... What do we have here? Faster to play Tikhar. Oh, that's the ball bearing gun. Mm. Oh, I could really, I could really use the good old Kalashnikov. I think I will. I think I will do it. Uh -huh. Can I get some? Can I get a silencer on it? Yes. Perfect. And what about uh, reflex or infrared? Let's go get a reflex. There we go. Well, I'm blowing my money out, aren't I? But I got a fancy gun, so it's all fine. I thought you had a third, third slot in this game for another gun. Maybe, maybe you get it. Maybe I'm forgetting, and you get it later on. Other one, but uh. Oh. The second slot's taken by a, like an actual gun. I should have... I should have traded this for the Duke. Get the shotgun instead of this damn revolver. Whoops, I wasn't thinking straight. And I don't want to reload the game either because... Uh, I don't want to reload the game either because I might have to get all those moral points again. So, <laughs> Well, we'll fight some bandits eventually. Uh, maybe grab a shotgun from them. Or we might get the super awesome automatic shotgun. Was in this game, wasn't it? I sure hope it was. Hmm. Okay, ooh! Bolshoi Show, huh? That sounds interesting. First, let's check uh, this diary thingy we found. Pavel needs some time to set everything up. The citizens of other stations need a permit to enter the red line. A state in permanent preparation for war readily sees a spy in any outsider. So I have some time to look around the theater. The station is a real legend of the Metro, not unlike Polis, the difference being that while Polis gathered most of the surviving scientists, the theater is considered to be the cultural capital of the Metro. It's really interesting, the idea that there's like a entertainment area in this Metro world, it's pretty cool. Hmm, so let's see. Now, I'm completely lost on moral points at this point. We should have... We followed some kids, we have followed some guy who tried to do this. Oh, okay. I, I guess we'll go then. Uh, well, let's go. Let's go, I guess. Uh, yeah, so we missed a couple of points. We should have followed some running kids to visit an arguing couple. We should have found some guy leading a tourist. Uh, I think we so we, we missed a couple of points. Uh, the dressing, dressing room, that's kind of weird. Okay, well, well, while we're here, we might as well enjoy the show, yeah? Let's hang out here for a bit and see what's going on. Ooh, freaking. I know this song's name, goddammit. I know this song, it's the cabaret song. Yeah? This guy's head's blocking. Come on. I know this is the Hot Lips boss in in um, Parodius. I, I know this is the boss theme in that for the Hot Lips boss. So, <laughs> but I can't remember what the actual song is called. The Can Can. That's right. It's, it's the Can Can song. Of course. It just came to me. Very silly of me. So yes, one moral point of this game is to watch the entire show here. Which I, I don't think I've actually done that. I don't know how long that takes. Well, this is more interesting than a shadow puppet show, so at least you can watch a couple more acts, right? 
That was Cabaret Can Can Girls. So what we got next? Oh, the game could do a much better job with these subtitles. Though. I was excited that there'd be more conversation subtitles in this game, but it's still very spotty which conversations have subtitles among these uh, ambient dialogue in the game. It wouldn't be much better in English though because of all the people talking on top of each other in these crowded areas, so like we're not missing out a whole lot. Uh, yay! Hooray! This is my favorite act. Whatever. Whatever he was saying. Ooh, a lion tamer! He's got a... Pet. Is that an Asalus or a Watcher? I can't quite tell. Them. This is a really weird creature. I'm not sure what that is. No, it's a Watcher, yeah. Wow, he's trained one of those to do what he wants. Impressive. Oh, well, he's not exactly doing... <laughs> exactly going... Um... I hope this is part of the show. Oh. Is there a um, Rotten Tomatoes shop anywhere? No, I suppose in the post-apocalypse they saved the Rotten Tomatoes for food, so never mind. Is it something about mutants? Another mutant show? Okay. Uh, yeah, hilarious, dude. Um, huh, huh. Yes, okay. Huh. <laughs> LOL. Is that Katya, whose husband died? Is she here to wind up, wind down with them? Um, some silly shows. She looks pretty still depressed here. Am I blocking anyone? No, I'm, I'm politely here in the back. This guy with his noggins blocking the show, though. I wish he'd sit down. There's there's room one row back next to this bald guy. It's an interesting room, by the way. I bet this is based on an actual real metro station in Moscow. They probably have this sort of weird architecture somewhere. Oh, what the hell is this? A drunk accordion guy. Alright, let's go. I like this beat. Man, I love accordions. Everyone should listen to Turisas and uh, Korpiklani for awesome Finnish metal with a freaking accordion helping out with the metal. Headbanging with an accordion. That's an interesting sight. I've seen it at a Turisas gig. That's why it takes so long, because they have to set up the act all the time. That makes sense. Okay, well that took a lot less time to set up whatever this act is. Oh, lights and everything. Ooh. Well. It seems incredibly dangerous with all those curtains so near to them. Like, I, I swear that guy just lit the curtain behind him on fire. He didn't quite look like that for a second. Wow, 
Well, okay. It certainly is cool, but um You guys about to come up with something else than just That's it. You're just gonna push them around. Oh. Well, I admit I couldn't do that in real life, so I'll admit that was impressive of them, but um Wow, well, my graphics are bugging out. The guy's head is too much of a weird I don't know if that... I don't know if the recording picked it up, but... Graphics were going a bit nuts for a second there. Get on with it! God damn it! And Pavel is probably in the back room like, wow, Artyom really likes the shows. I can't believe someone would put up with that crap so long. Guitar guy. I don't know what it is with East European post-apocalyptic games and constant guitar play. I mean, everyone in everyone in Stalker seems to own a guitar, even though they're super low on every supply. But guitars are fine, apparently. There must have been a abandoned guitar factory in Pripyat that someone looted. Seems to be kind of the same here in Metro too. Everyone just loves their acoustic guitars, along with balalaikas, of course. Hey, wait a second, I think that guy's playing on playback. Boo! This is dumb! Get him off the stage! This sucks! I guess no one in the future knows what playback is. <laughs> Uh, I think he was saying... Was he saying, please or thank you? I think he was saying thank you, so I think he's announcing that the show's over, so... Maybe. I'm hoping that this show's over, I'd like to get a move on. Very patriotic? What? A patriotic act. Oh, it's these both guys again! Awesome! Except the guy's still playing on playback, I'm pretty sure. On the other hand, I don't know how accordions are played, so I don't know if this guy's doing it right or wrong. <laughs> Uh, yeah, hilarious. God damn it. Maestro? Did I hear that right? Oh, hey, that was the last act. Neato. And we got the point. Awesome. That better be worth like three points after all that show we put out. That was longer than the... Oh, we could have freaking taken a front row seat this whole time. Whew. How silly of me. But I'm too polite to do that. Oh, there you are, Pablo. 
Teatral. All right, all right, Pavel. I'm sorry. We don't. I haven't gotten a lot of this show back in exhibition and where else will I hang out? Oh my God! Is it really okay? I come through here. Oh, I, excuse me. I'm sorry, ladies. Oh. Oh, everywhere I look, I feel like I'm intruding. Oh, I'm sorry, Pavel. Can we get out of this room real quick, please? Um, yes, final. Finally, Metro Gloominess, that's exactly what I want. Fuck off, Pavel. What's with this romantic mood lighting in here? Pavel, is there someone you're a bit hungry for? Well, I can't pass down a free drink now, can I? I guess, I guess we'll have some. Look at this lovely room. Sure, sure, um, sure. I will have a time for a few drinks. Ooh, man, that's, that's strong stuff. Ooh, really strong. Ну и наслушаешься всякого про красную линию, дескать, и плохо у нас, и жрать нечего, и расстреливают всех подряд, почем зря, и yeah, не рассказать сразу, что мы строимся, ходим. Uh, Ар Амер, you know, Амер, да. Yes, yes, sir. давай, давай. Так вот, wow, this is у нас строго, да, без бардака, одна партия, один руководитель. I don't know, man. I, I saw the stuff I saw. Uh, uh, really. It was kind of. Uh, kind of really. I don't know, Pablo. Well, uh, to your hospitality, Pablo. How? Oh. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah, yes, I agree with you. Где-то каменный век уже начался. Yeah, it's, Если it's человека know, самому себе предоставить, он до зверя в два счета скатится. Нужен okay. порядок, нужен. В это и верю. Сдохнем мы в метро без порядка. Перегрызем друг другу в лодки и все они долго. You're, you're a good man, Pablo. I don't, I don't judge you for your ideology. Idemalo, idemahalo. I don't judge you. I will drink to you. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is unbelievable. Hey, who are these guys? No, what is it? Не серчай, Артем. Работа у меня такая, красную линию защищай. А ты, мушкетер, сейчас по чужую сторону барика. Бойцы, оформите товарищ. Wait, what? Есть товарищ майор. Слушаюсь. Major? Major Pavel? Fuck. Fuck you, Pavel! I put my trust in you! I put my trust in you! Oh my god! 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 That's an interesting twist I'll give you. Pavel is set up to be such a cool guy and nice guy. And, you know, he begins his whole story with going like, Hey, you know, we might have our differences, me being red, you being a uh, Sparta guy, but we're stuck with Nazis, so let's work together, huh? And he keeps up his whole act for the whole time. So when that happens, wow, I will have to say I was surprised. Probably by the game. A better twist of the game, I'll give it. I know I've complained about the plot a little, but I do like... I do like ba Pavel's su sub-story in this game a lot. Now that we know that he has filthy Major. major. Pavel! God damn you, Pavel! Oh, okay. Stone face and house here are not gonna let me get away. Volna! Вижу, жизнь бьет ключом. Так точно. Товарищ Москвин проводит смотр. Опа, сам генсек. Товарищ Корбут тоже здесь? Так точно. Товарищ генерал тоже прибыл. Ну, повезло. 
Как все закрутилось. Слушай, Артем, ты парень умный. Должен понимать, случайностей не бывает. Ты здесь. Fuck off, Pablo. You can't. I've been, I've been trained by Miller and the best of the Rangers. Я тебе помогу. Мы ведь с тобой кто? Мушкетеры. Bullshit. I'm gonna be the Cardinal Richelieu from now on. товарищи из Орден. Девиз другой. Все для нас. Этот ваш бункер. Кому он достанется, тому и жит. Это последняя война будет, Артем. И мы к ней готовились. У нас сила. I don't. They're not doing much of a job of selling me here, Pablo. In fact, they're doing quite a big job of making me want to strangle you right now. Unfortunately, Itchy and Scratchy here are not gonna let me. Let me lay my hands on you. Nor the hundreds of. Oh my God! Look at all these soldiers. This is nuts. Oh my God! товарищ Морозов. Я думал, вы пропали. Был в плену, Числав Андреевич. Вот Рейнджер спас. Какое совпадение. Лесницкий, вы же тоже Рейнджер. Его Лесницкий. Так точно. Это Артем. The guy who escaped from D6. Они вместе нашли D6. И потом он отличился. Well, what do you know? All the bastards I'm gonna punch are in one room. Рад знакомству, товарищ Артём. Думаю, нам есть что ah, Shut up. Корбут, was it? Доставьте. I'm gonna do something about your good eye in a second. Oh. Okay, never. Never mind then. Also, that was the character voiced by um, Steve Bloom, was Comrade Corbett. Давайте к молодому человеку. Пропустим обмен любезности и сразу перейдём к делу. Известные вам мутанты телепаты черные. Представляет огромный научный oh интерес. God. Вы расскажете все, что знаете о них. За это обещаю вам жизнь и... Fuck off. You're not getting the dark one. I'm getting him. Ордене, но... Go мы... take a hike, Corbett. Будем как... Мушкетеры. Один за всех и все за... Генеральный секретарь ЦК КПМ, товарищ Москвин. Числа, разговор к тебе. А это у нас что? Oh, who's this now? Мой враг революции. <laughs> Отлично. Okay, who the hell are you? The weird, weird hybrid of Himmler and Hitler, who's been turned into a commie? с людьми. Вообще-то мы собирались наставить все эти ваши сыворотки правды, хитрые машинки, пустая трата времени. I don't like the sound of that at all. You stay away from me. Ну, гнида, говори, давай, выкладывай все, что знаешь. Oh, I knew this gonna happen. Okay, come on, let's go. Bring it on. Oh, best you got. Shit. Thank you, sir. May I have another? Все ваши явки, ставки, пароли и всю прочую лабудей. Папа, зачем ты его так? Это называется допрос, Леня. Допрос. Обычное дело. Что? Когда ты играешь в куклы, такого не делаешь? Нет! Сучоныш! Власти без крови не бывает! Бывает! Твой брат правил без крови, и его до сих пор Стоять! Любят, Стоять, а ты... я сказал! Вы... Hmm. Делайте, что хотите. No, вытянуть из него все и пулю. Well, if you're that good with uh, your family, no wonder you couldn't get anything out of me, Mr. Moskvin, was it? Есть разговор. Вернись! Вернись! Леонид был прав. Зачем? Похоже, наши отношения безнадежны и испорчены. Но тут на I'm not I'm kind of afraid of needles, dude. I don't Not this again. Why do these images keep haunting me? <laughs> right, this is the scene from the first book I was talking about. Run away, little Artyom! 
Oh no, we are the little archer. Our story ends here. Okay, not quite. Yeah, that happened in the book. Artyom told a story about how when he was young, he actually snuck outside as a kid. Okay, we can go back to the military. Oh no, now he's after the Dark One too. Не подведу, товарищ генерал. Не подведу. Right. Shit. Gotta get out of here. Пошли они все в задницу. И папаша, и Корбут, и Морозов, и революция, и мое большое будущее. Я так не хочу. Я все равно так не смогу. Пускай расстреляют. О, вау. Папаша. You're the coolest dude in this place. А вы, вы там, если выберетесь. Ну, живите. Thanks, man. Вот. Давайте сюда. Там свобода. Уж я-то знаю. Я по этим трубам от отца все детство прятался. Shit, I will do that, but in the next episode. So, to review, we missed a couple of um, moral points still, because there were a million in the theater in Bolshoi. We should have stuck around in the girls' changing room to listen to a couple of um, to listen to a couple of conversations there. I didn't realize. I thought we were gonna have a later sequence where you. I, I I thought it was gonna be more to the level than that, so I actually walked past them. Unfortunately, I, I wasn't paying attention. We still got the grand majority of the moral points in the theater, so yes, there were two more we missed at the end there, you know, in the girls' changing room. But that's neither here nor there. Freaking plot twists, ahoy! Now we gotta stop Major Pavel from finding the Dark One. We find Pavel, we'll find out how to get the Dark One. And that's what we're gonna do next episode. Watch out, Reds! Your name's painted on my bullets and I'm coming for you!